Century Age of Ashes. The game kind of blew me away when I first saw my initial preview, trailer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I forgot when, or at least I can't recall when I did see it, but I do remember the first initial impression it made on me, and it was amazing. And I was really hoping to get into the beta, and I finally got into the beta. So I'm here to kind of break down what I have played, what I, I have thought after about 10 hours of the game, and kind of just give you guys some information that you may be wondering. So if you guys haven't already and you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe, like, and comment down below. It really helps out the algorithm. And if you haven't already, join us over on Twitch for some games, and we pretty much play everything there, which I think I'm going to be playing more of this game, if kind of give you a little bit of a hint here. So, let's go on and uh, continue on with the video. So, this game has some positives, this game has some negatives. And overall, my, my overall consensus of this game is I enjoy it, I think it's a lot of fun, the gameplay loop is great, and the reward mechanics is pretty decent as well. So let's kind of break down everything that I have, you know, let's start with the bad first. Let's let's start with all my gripes with the game so far. Let's start with the controls. The controls were probably my biggest gripe of the game, and it's because I'm playing on keyboard and mouse. It seems that the controller isn't as rigid, and it allows a little bit more fluid movement. So what I'm referring to is the sensitivity has to be really high, or you have to, later on, I found out if you're holding, if you hold shift, and then you do a quick movement then, you don't need to have your sensitivity as high. But regardless, for the majority of my playtime, I had the sensitivity super high. I have a full full mouse pad, a full tired like mouse pad that covers my whole desk. And I'm using the full range of my arm to swing my dragon around at like a fast velocity to keep up with the dragons that are flying by me. And like I said, some of this can be alleviated with technique. So a technique that I have come across is tapping the shift so you're breaking yourself and then swinging and then doing a turbo boost right after to get a good flip around but it took me a while to understand that and to actually get a good grasp of it from the seams of it playing with controller is a lot easier i haven't done it yet and i intend to this week play around with controller for a couple hours and see if it's actually easier or not because I'm, I'm afraid that actually playing with controller might be easier and you might have an advantage if you're playing with controller. So I'm going to take a look into that and see. The, the next thing I would kind of have a gripe about is the lack of actual visual adjustments you can make for graphic settings. So there is not many graphic settings that you can really mess with at the moment. There is a section that says coming soon for the advanced area, but... As of right now, you can't really adjust it. My computer is starting to get old. I do run a GTX 970 SLI combination with an i7, but regardless, my computer is starting to show its age and it has a little bit of a hard time rendering nice quality videos and playing this game at the same time. So that is a little bit of gripe. That's probably more personally me than anything, but you know what I mean? Mm, it's what it is. Now they did say that all your progress would be saved over in the actual release of the game which got pushed back from february to april but as of right now there is no signs of a season pass i think this game would be prime for a season pass because all of the unlockables are completely cosmetic there is no pay to win here but i mean there's some really cool dragons i mean that is what initially brought me to this game is the dragons and then the way that they are designed they just look so cool oh i love them i just love the dragons the dragons are dope okay anyways Back to focus here. I would like to see them add a season pass. I think a season pass would really bring a good longevity to this game. I think this game is going to struggle with new players coming in just because of this, the complexity of the controls and getting the hang of it. But I think once they get in, they see the cool dragons. And after 5-10 games, they start getting the hang of it. I think they need a good driving factor to continue the player base to stay and keep grinding it out so let's kind of get into some things that i love about this game so let's first off start off with the dragons like i said just a couple seconds ago the dragons i just can't hype over how well they did these dragons or drakes or i don't know the difference between freaking dragons and drakes but i love the designs of these and the way that you can customize them the way that you can get new skins for them it's just i don't know it just it just like 
gives me it itches that but like scratch I've been having for some you know nice fantasy lore so i'm digging it i'm really digging it the classes are pretty fun i think the classes are varied enough to really kind of give you a different taste of the abilities and stuff like that however i would like to see them kind of play around a little bit more with the stats of the actual dragons so make them a little bit faster or slower um you know change some of the abilities a little bit some of the abilities are kind of too intermeshed or too similar to each other that they almost feel the same so i think trying to broaden out their spectrum of like these not the class abilities like not the special ability but like the i think one has like a ice mine and which is actually kind of different so that's not a really good uh example but they have like some sort of uh, they all each have like some sort of like a shout thing that they do so i would like to see them try to play around with adding a little bit more variety i know it can be kind of hard to come up with them and they do for the most part do a pretty good job of it but i would like to see a little bit more variety in it the classes and the abilities now the stage design and the game modes are a lot of fun i dig them each game mode kind of emphasis the need for a certain class for instance the gates you kind of need the healer which i think is the wind guard it's not really a healer it gives you more of a shield but the wind guard can really turn the like the edge of the battle so my technique is if i don't have the flag finding the person on my team that has the flag and then giving them extra shield because then they can go so far and a lot of times we can win the match within one minute you know the game's starting because they just have so much health they can't be taken down. There's some cool mechanics like that and I would love to see what high competitive gameplay of this is going to be with teams working together and talking. Sadly, I don't have a team of myself, but you know, if you're looking for some other players to join with over on NA, please hit me up. I am looking for some teammates and would love to, uh, you know, play a little competitively on this. So that's my quick breakdown, guys, of like the things I love, the things I hate of this game, things I think they can improve on and my initial impressions. I plan on, like I said, keep playing this game and kind of get a better feel for it. I'll probably do some tutorials later on on some techniques that I have come across, at least for keyboard and mouse, and maybe even controller after I played with it, and some character breakdowns, and maybe we can figure out some lore and kind of go into the lore of this game, because I'm kind of interested. This is very, like, Hogwarts kind of a uh, feel I'm getting with these different classes of dragons and stuff i don't know it's kind of cool so anyways guys if you guys haven't already and you guys like the content please hit that like subscribe and see me over on twitch until next time guys have a good night and don't get burned